that's pretty ancient. That's pretty old. Pretty old cameras right there. <sighs> but anywho, hello, hello, hello. I am in lovely Denmark, man. Copenhagen to be exact. Lovely city, a city that I've been to before, man. But last time that I was here, actually, I wasn't here for long. I was just here for a day because I had to do some stuff in a city nearby. I had to go to Malmo, which is in Sweden. It's like 45 minutes to an hour away uh, from here. So uh, that's actually kind of why I'm here again. I have some stuff to do in Malmo, but I'm in Copenhagen a little longer. Bless you. <laughs> I'm in Copenhagen a little longer this time so I can actually, actually explore. <laughs> uh, it's always interesting when people see uh, me talking to the camera and then they're smiling. But yeah, like I, I've met a few people that have said that Copenhagen is one of their favorite countries in Europe. And that's something I'm going to have to figure out. Why? I mean, it is beautiful here. It's lovely. You can see from the buildings, old school buildings. It is one of the happiest slash safest countries in Europe. And it is also the oldest city or well, Copenhagen is the oldest city in Scandinavia. Yeah, these are things that I, I, I learned about the city. You know, you can see bicycles everywhere in hello how are you doing Hi. hello hello i'm good i'm good cool tattoo on the back of your neck man thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh yeah you can see bikes everywhere here uh in the city kind of similar to the netherlands <clears throat> and you know me i'm not a bike person i don't like anything with two wheels if it doesn't have four wheels i'm not i'm not you know using it but people use it more here there are five times more bikes than there are then there are cars uh, in the city and people use it to go to work, to go to school. Again, similar to the Netherlands, uh, but that's actually pretty cool. So at the moment I'm just, I'm just walking. I think that's, that's always, I'm gonna show a little bit of, of the city, but that's always a good way to, to learn about the city because you just see stuff, man. And yeah, and sometimes you just meet some of the nicest people. You know, so that's what I'm gonna do. I somewhat have an idea of where I'm going uh, because someone told me to just go to this general area, uh, which is where I'm going now, and then we'll see what, what is over there. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I was in the bike lane, man. I gotta be careful. Again, I have to remember that this is a bike city, man, bike friendly city, and they have their own lane. And I was just walking on it. I almost got hit, but again, people here are super friendly. He was waving and apologizing, even though I was in the wrong. So, um, that's always cool. Seneca House. I don't know what that means. Oh, that looks cool down there. I don't know if the camera's gonna capture it, but man, I, I, I do need a coffee. It's 12.56 p.m. Hello, how are you? Hey, good, man. Are you the owner of the bar? Yeah. Matthias? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're like, how do I know your name? I don't know. Maybe you uh, have some friends that was here yesterday. Probably. Yeah, probably. I think so. An American? Exactly. Man, he spoke about you with so much honor. He said so many great things about you. I said... You're going to meet my partner, Oliver, then. Okay. All right. Where's Oliver? Are you Oliver? No, I'm, uh, I'm Maunus. You're what? Maunus. Maunus? Nice to meet you. And Mecca, nice to meet you. you where are you from? I was from Denmark. From Denmark, okay. Oliver? Uh, yeah. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. And Mecca is my Sorry, name, man. No, that's all good. Yeah. <laughs> um, a friend of mine came here, well, a new friend of mine came here, I think yesterday. Yeah. He was telling me about how amazing uh, Matthias and how, how amazing the place was. He said that Matthias knows everything or the secrets of uh, yeah, yeah, Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here to learn. And, <laughs> yeah, and just... Uh, Maybe also get a coffee as well or something. Yeah. What do you want? Something that's going to, cause I'm jet lagged at the moment. I'm jet lagged at the moment. So do you want any milk or oats in it? Or do you want espresso shot? Maybe some oats. Oats? Yes, please, if you don't mind. Of course. You guys are just not opening, right? 
Yeah. Or, oh, okay, 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 okay. The name of this place is it Ran Ran. How do you pronounce it? Ranua. Ranua. Yeah. It's, okay. it's uh, the street and the neighborhood put together. Okay, the street and the neighborhood. Ranua. <laughs> cool. Where are you from? From Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got the hat on yeah, to, <laughs> to represent, man. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, are you from Copenhagen? No, I'm, I'm from um, I'm from the south of Denmark, close to the border near Germany. What city is that? Called Sunnabal. Yeah. And when you're from Texas, you will. You, I would know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's no Copenhagen in Denmark. Then that's about it that I know in Denmark, yeah. And I've been to Denmark twice, but, well, Copenhagen twice. Okay, cool. But I don't know any other major city. Is there any other, what are the other major cities? Aarhus. Hmm, Aarhus? Aarhus. Aarhus. Okay. I got it right? Got it, got okay, it. okay. And uh, any other one? Then there's Aalborg. And so Copenhagen is the most populated one in Denmark, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then oh, by far, by far. By far really. Yeah. Everyone just comes here. Here or Aarhus. Oh, Aarhus, okay. And Aarhus. Then also Aalborg also, but, but mm. clearly Copenhagen is. It's the main one. It's the main one. The main one. And you, you live here in Copenhagen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I like it here, man. Like it's, yeah. it's clean. Everyone's happy. Everyone's nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I came in, you started talking to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. Yeah? That's, that's nice. Copenhagen right there. I like it here so far. Oh, this coffee is so, so good and so needed right now. Cheers, you guys. Push. There's a lot to do. There's the mermaid or something somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, is that nearby? Uh, not, not. I mean, you're in Texas, so I think you would you would tend to say it's nearby. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but for you guys, I mean, I think how uh, far is it from here? Uh, two or three miles? Huh? Two or three miles? Yeah. Kilometers or miles? Yeah, miles. Okay. I think I I done it the right calculation. Co conversion yeah. itself. Okay. Uh, okay. I. Yeah, you have to check that out as well. Yeah. I I think that's something I will check out. Yeah. Um, the mermaid. I need to try some like Danish, uh, the sweets. Oh, I have a place that you should go. See, this is my guy right here. Yeah. This is, uh, I think, I think they've been like nominated to the best bakery in like, I think all of Scandinavia. All of Scandinavia? Yeah, some, something like that. It's the best bakery in all of Scandinavia. So if you have to like try the, Danish pastries and stuff. This is this is and that's the place. The one that's the Danish pastries on on steroids. Okay. I think there's there's maybe like you have to wait in a queue. For oh, it's one of those ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm patient enough to wait for stuff like that. Yeah, you get the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm patient enough to wait for it. What do you recommend from there? Oh, I think they have uh, plenty of stuff. I think I think it like. It, Different from time to time, but oh, okay, okay, okay. just just as for as for the best, the best thing. Okay. I, I think I think it's it's very difficult to get something that you're not satisfied with. Got it. At that one. Do you know the bakery? Beautiful the city is, man. What a beauty. I think this is a a train station right there. Yes, it is. And I think that's an amusement park right there. I don't know which one it is. I think they're. There, there are at least two amusement parks uh, here in Copenhagen, and I think uh, they have two of the oldest, oldest amusement parks in Scandinavia. Oh, it is an amusement park. Look, you can see them on that right there. That's something that I would never do. You can see them just spinning, spinning around there. That's a big, big hell no for me. I am terrified of heights and <laughs> well planes uh, I'm okay with and I, I especially love the window seat on planes I can look down and I'm comfortable because I know I'm safe but I've seen too many videos of these kind of rides malfunctioning I just don't trust them that much Insane. Something that I've noticed about 
Denmark, well, Copenhagen for sure. It reminds me of Asia just a tiny bit with the 7 Elevens. We go to somewhere like Thailand, there's a 7 Eleven every corner. I don't remember seeing 7 Elevens anywhere else uh, like that in Europe um, as I've seen them here in Copenhagen. I've seen so many of them, but that's good because 7 Eleven, one of my favorite places. Unfortunately, they don't have the toasties that you can find in Thailand. If you've been to Thailand and you've been to the 7-Elevens there, you know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. Whew. So I've been walking for a while. Look at this, this is pretty cool. But I've been walking, I'll say today, and it's only almost three o'clock, it's 2.54. I'll say I've walked about 10 kilometers today. And that's something I do like about some of the European countries or cities uh, like Copenhagen. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'll show that in a bit. But something I do like about, you know, cities like this where compared to somewhere like Texas, which is still a place that I love, that's where I'm from. Texas is just too wide. You can't really just walk around. Uh, you need a car, you know, somewhere there. But here you can just walk around, see a lot of stuff and yeah 10 kilometers of just walking and i've seen a lot of of the beautiful city something that i've wanted to see uh here in copenhagen i didn't get to see it last time but yeah i think i i will be seeing it today seaside restaurant right there people just eating enjoying the peaceful and this lovely view you can see the windmills all the way over there. And that's it right there. The Little Mermaid. The real, the real Little Mermaid. Not the nonsense that they're trying to come up with uh, soon. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Wink, wink. But this is the real Little Mermaid. It was erected in 1913. Unveiled on August 23rd, 1913. It was a gift from the Danish brewer Carl Jacobson to the city of Copenhagen. The sculpture is made of bronze and granite and was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale about a mermaid who gives up everything to be united with a young handsome prince on land. Every morning and evening she swims to the surface from the bottom of the sea and perched on her rock in the water. She stares longly towards the shore hoping to catch a glimpse of her beloved prince. The real Little Mermaid. Let me get a little closer. How you doing? Man? Hey, good. American? I hear the accent, man. Yeah. What part? Uh, Michigan. Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's pretty cool. After about two and a half more kilometers of walking. I've made it to this uh, pastry place that I was told about at the coffee place that I was at. It's called Juno the Bakery. And I could smell it from far, far away. And this is what it looks like. Oh man. This is my uh, treat or my gift for walking. I think I've done 16 kilometers today, about 10 miles. So, all right. Hello ladies. How hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Nice. What should I try? The cardamom bun for sure. Mm -hmm. Is this one? Yeah. That's the one everyone gets? Yeah. Cardamom... It was there, it all began. Yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and get that. Yep. Should I get anything else what? or just that? Uh, I really like the prayers. It's a seasonal thing. We are doing it Everything with them. Um, yeah? You have a napkin? Yeah. Add that one in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You won't regret anything. Oh yeah? Anything else? I've heard that this is the best pastry place in yeah? Copenhagen. Yeah. That's what someone told me today. So <laughs> I walked like 10 kilometers today. Here's some crisis. Then yeah. you can take both of them for sure. Yeah. Anything to drink? Are you good? We do uh, full the coffee or juices and water. I've had a coffee today. Perfect. Yeah. I think so you're I'm... good with them? Yeah. Nice. 82, please. 82. Can you do that you? Please. Yeah. Alright, you're the best. Right. Thank you very much. Alright. Let's see. I think I'll go for a walk. 
and eat this. My hotel is an hour away, so I'm gonna just walk it as well. Let me see, it's about 5.6 kilometers. We're gonna walk that as well, why not? And while we're walking it, we're gonna enjoy the Danish pastries that I've just got. And we're gonna start with the one, as she said, that it all started with. I'm guessing it's their, their first one that they had maybe at Juno the bakery. This is it right here. You can see that sugar on top. I don't know what's inside, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Uh -huh. mm. It is pretty good. It tastes a little like citrusy, a little bit. But then it's bread as well, like sweet bread. I thought there'd be like some cream or something inside. Mmm, this is sugar. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. This is so damn good. Oh my goodness. I need to um, try the other ones just to know where this pastry is on my top, on my top pastry list that I've had around the world. But this right here is definitely special. Mm. It's a bit crunchy, a bit crunchy from the sugar. Woo wee! This one here, I think it has some like bread, crumb, bread crumbs, either some blueberry, and this one should have some like, some icing in, inside. I could tell. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Hello. <laughs> Very good. Have you had this before? <laughs> oh, so good. I, I like this one better than the, the first one. Slightly better. Oh my goodness. I don't know, what is this white stuff? There's some like, some cream? Something. Top the blueberries. I think these are blueberries. And then top with some like breadcrumbs. My God. Oh my God. How can this be so good? I'll say it's in my top five. Best pastries that I've had. Maybe even top three in the world. Number one, Greece, of course. If you've never had the uh, Galactoburico from Greece, highly recommend it. This is definitely in the top three. The other one in the top five, for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. This is so sweet. I could eat more and more and more of these. For both of them, it was $12.30. That's how expensive things are here in Copenhagen or in Denmark. Scandinavia. Is it worth that price? I don't know. But is it delicious? Oh yeah. All right, so it has been a great day just walking around. I'll show you my steps today, man. So far, I have done 27,000 steps today. That is 13.8 miles all today. A lot of walking today. But again, that's a good way to learn you know and see more of the city so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here i'm already close to my my hotel I'm gonna uh -oh. catch you guys in the next video man loving it so far here in copenhagen and bye